Hello guys, I am a Jamaican living abroad in the United States to be precise. And in my last video, I spoke about my self-discovery as an Afro Jamaican. And I also mentioned how I am so curious, you know, about that side of me that was buried, that side of me that was cut off, that side of me that I never knew. So I of course wanted to know more about um my 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 ancestors i wish i knew their last name so <laughs> i i wish i know more about them so i went and i did a little bit of research to see whatever information i i could get about our ancestors and um as an afro jamaican that is how i refer to myself now so you know, if anybody asks, oh, who are you? What are you? I'm an Afro Jamaican. Hmm. I love the sound of that. Afro Jamaican. I'm no longer just Jamaican. I am an Afro Jamaican, right? And um, for anybody who don't know what Afro Jamaican means, I'm going to read the definition. It means that an Afro Jamaican are Jamaicans of predominantly African descent. Um, they represent the largest ethnic group in the country. The ethnogenesis of the Black Jamaican people stemmed from the Atlantic slave trade of the 16th century, when enslaved Africans were transported as slaves to Jamaica and other parts of the Americas. So that is what it means to be an Afro Jamaican. And as far as we know is that um, our ancestors, they came from the, um, they, we were told that they came from West Africa. And when we think of West Africa, we think of Ghana. But there are other countries too, you know, that actually, um, there are many countries actually that is located in West West Africa. And I actually wrote down a few of them. I didn't write down all of them. I wrote down a few of them. So that would be countries such as Ghana, Nigeria, Senegal, Ivory Coast, and there are others. <laughs> so that tells you that our uh, ancestors came from that part of Africa. So I am curious. That means today, today, if my ancestors came from West Africa, that means we have relatives there today. We may not know each other, but they're there. And they could be located in any of these uh, areas, any of these areas in in the West. You know the funny thing? I was one day, one day I was at work and a customer came in and uh, she was sitting down in front of me. There was something about her, felt so relatable. I started to question her because she actually reminds me of of Jamaica so much and I started to you know question and ask her where at first I said are you Jamaican she said no girl I'm from Ghana I said no was it Ghana one of those African countries I said what are you sure you sound Jamaican <laughs> are you sure about that she said no 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 I'm from that particular country in in Africa who's to say that I wasn't sniffing out my own blood you just never know guys i know it sounds crazy it sounds crazy i know but it's the truth the truth is we still have relatives in the western parts all right so listen i kind of did a little bit of research i was so excited about this because i wanted to see how similar we were with with africa today and um you know before I get into it, I'm just going to say there was this uh, YouTuber, an Asian YouTuber living in Jamaica. We would necessarily, we would actually call them Chinese people. But this an Asian lady who said that Jamaicans are stupid and that Jamaicans don't know their history. The stupid part I disagree with not knowing our African history is true. I believe that we could learn more about it. But 
she went as far as to say something along the lines as if our dialect was is coming from um i don't know if she had said it was scotland or ireland one of those countries really is it really coming from there is it really coming from there but here's the thing right i became so curious and i looked up languages and uh just like in jamaica we have what is called patwa in africa their broken english is called pidgin and i looked up a few sayings in pidgin and compared it to a few sayings in patwa now tell me if they sound similar and if you think that is coming out of ireland or scotland hmm? anyhow this is ghana right for ghana their broken language is called pidgin here's an example if they want to say let us go you know what they would say i they go what would we say in jamaica me i go in Ghana, they would say, I they go. And in Jamaica, we would say, me I go. Here's another thing. Let's go and eat. In Ghana, they would say, make we go chop. Jamaica, we would say, make we go nyam. Hey, right? I very close very very close i think so what do you think i don't know what how would they say that in ireland or scotland hmm? all right nigeria if they want to say let's go just simple let's go like if you want to go somewhere let's go we would nigerians would say make we make we walk up Jamaicans, make we go. Hmm? Hmm? All right. If Nigerians want to say that's how it is, they would say, Naso Ebe. Naso Ebe. What would we say? No, I saw you go. No, I saw you go. Nigerian is Naso Ebe. Ebe, and we say, No, I saw you go. To me, that is very similar. In Benin, Benin is a French speaking country, but some of them do speak pidgin, which is broken English. And if they want to say, How are you? they would say, How are you day? How you day? How you day? <laughs> How you day? Jamaicans? How you a do? How you do? How you day? How you do? Guys, and these are countries in West Africa that they say our ancestors came from. I'm just saying that I don't see the similarities between us and Ireland and Scotland. And I'm not saying that the influences of those countries, Ireland and Scotland, are not in Jamaica. It is there, it is scattered. It is scattered there, you know, because as they say in Jamaica that we are one out of, we are out of many one people. We're like a melting pot, I understand. But the majority of our um, cultural influences, the way how we speak, the way how we do things, just the way how we behave in general, the way how we cook, you name it, it is really being influenced by our African culture, our African roots. And there's a lot of things that we do in Jamaica that we, that is still, you know, it's still stemming and it is still coming from our African traditions. And we don't even realize that it is coming from our African traditions because again, we see ourselves as a whole separate country from Africa. We see ourselves as 
Jamaican only and not as Afro Jamaicans, you know? So of course the cultural history that were passed down, we think that's, that's just our thing, but we're not realizing that some of these things, they're coming out of Africa. You know, um, I'm still, I'm still want to do a little bit more research and some of those things. And I'm going to do that and speak about that into an, in another video. But also, um, I don't know if you've ever wondered what tribe you are coming from. And because it is so hard to narrow it down to the T, I had to do my research more on a broader scale because I want to know what tribes am I coming from? what tribe or tribes i don't know so as far as i know um akan akan or the ashanti and fante people they would be coming out of ghana you know and that means that we would from ghana the akan people that mean we would be speaking a language called well my English pronunciation is twee, but I believe that the African pronunciation is tree. <laughs> tree. Africans, remember, I have lost my mother tongue. I don't know what it is. If I'm not pronouncing it correctly, please, please correct me, okay, in a gentle way. But my English pronunciation of that would be twee, but it's actually tree, you know? And um, so our people now, the, um, the Yoruba people, these are people that would be coming out of Southwest Nigeria and parts of Benin and Southeast Nigeria as well. Their language would be the same, standard Yoruba, standard Yoruba. And this language is spoken in Nigeria, part Benin and Togo, okay? So this would have been our language could have been one of our language actually okay and we we could have been one of the yoruba people next we have the igbo people igbo igbo people are from southeast Ni nigeria and their language is actually like igbo hopefully i'm pronouncing it correctly as i said my african brothers and sisters just correct me gently in the comment section ibo 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 or ibo ibo um which is ibo that's the language that they speak in southeast nigeria um then we have mande the mande people the mande people actually they are people from senegal mali and guinea if our ancestors came from that part, their language would be Mandingo or Mandinka, okay? They say Mandinka is the most widely spoken language in Senegal, Mali, and, and Guinea. Very interesting, right? So if you want to know what your last language <laughs> Is. these are the things that I'm talking about and if you want to know about your your people what tribe you were coming from then yeah these are the things that I'm talking about next we have Iwe it's either Iwe or Ewe or a completely different pronunciation but it is spelled E W E or it could be you you people but E W E that is the spelling they are they are the people of Togo and parts of Ghana. Their language spoken is um, actually, yeah, the same, the same um, spelling, which is E-W-E, -E, which is Iwe, Iwe or Ewe, okay? Um, so that language is actually spoken in parts of Togo and parts of Ghana. So if our ancestors are from that area then that is the language that they would have spoken and lastly what i have is the hossa fulani people the hossa fulani people now they're from northern nigeria and neighboring regions they 
would have spoken or they speak the Hausa and full full day or fuller language okay and they say that Hausa is widely spoken language in like North Nigeria and Ghana and is widely spoken in Africa so I guess if it is widely spoken in Africa, I've also heard of Swahili. Swahili is also widely spoken in Africa. So, and then you have Fula or Fulani, Fulfulde, Fula or Fulani language, which is spoken by Senegambian people. So, yeah, so this is, has answered some of my concerns and some of my questions as far as language is concerned and as far as the people my people like where exactly in africa am i from you know so i could either either have been an akan yoruba igbo mande iwe or also fulani um person <laughs> <laughs> is that how you say <laughs> so that means that means i would either my identity or um my people I mean i would either recognize myself as an akan yoruba igbo mande iwe or asa fulani yeah <laughs> okay so because we're not able to narrow these things down specifically to any country then these are the various tribes um, from several West African countries and um, I just wanted to know a little bit more about my identity as an Afro Jamaican so that is it guys um, I think this is more than enough information to speak on today I hope you did enjoy this um, I feel like many of us don't really know our African history um, I have take make it my responsibility to learn a little bit about my roots and um, I'm, I'm doing my own research I want I don't want to sit down and have someone teach me my identity I want to do that research myself if I'm going to be taught my African history I want to hear it from my fellow Africans so to hear someone come out and say that Jamaicans don't know their history and they're trying to somehow connect us to Ireland and Scotland I am um, I don't know I don't like it I'd, I'd rather they are correct we don't know, really know our history and I don't, and, I don't, and I don't think that our history is well spoken of in Jamaica the way that it should as an afro jamaican but you know what i don't want to be taught my african history from anyone else other than my african bloodline my african brother and sister all right so uh thank you guys so much for watching please go ahead like share and subscribe to my channel and I'm going to do a little bit more research because I'm so curious to know like what cultural practices we have in Jamaica that is so similar to Africa. <laughs> so um, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.